Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my January favourites, which I always get so excited to film a monthly favourites video. I don't even care if nobody wants to watch it, I want to film it, so that's what's happening. I did one of these videos every month last year apart from December and I'm going to be doing the same this year. The reason why I don't film a favourites video in December is because... I film on what I got for Christmas and I think that's pretty much my December favourites. So this month we're going to see my absolute favourites from kind of December and January. And it happens to be all makeup. I've really got into makeup this month and basically this year and last year. So these are products that I've been using this month and I've been loving. So the first product is this e.l.f. primer. So this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer and obviously as you can see it's quite a nice bottle. I really quite like the colour of it. It's a, as it says, a hydrating primer. So when you put it on your skin it does feel quite moisturising as well as also feeling like a tacky base for makeup and the reason why I really like this is because it just makes my foundation and my concealer go on so much better. I hate the feeling of dry skin before I put my makeup on it so this really does counteract that. I do have oily skin so you would think why would you use a hydrating product if you've got oily skin? Well, actually, I don't think... If you've got oily skin, that doesn't mean that you should take all oils out. If anything, you should put them in. I personally do quite like this, despite having my oily skin. I sort my oily skin out by powdering my face. So I do quite like this one, and I'd recommend giving it a go if you would like. The next product is this foundation from Primark. This is the Glow Foundation, and it's medium to buildable coverage. I did do a video on this foundation, and... I will link that down below. I tested it out and I tested it out with a primer and without a primer. Again, like I said, I'll link that down below if you want to go and watch that video. It's only £6 and it has SPF 30. It is a kind of one of those squeezy, whatever they're called, applicators, as I mentioned in the video. What are they called? Pipettes? That's the one. And I do have to say that I have found that that does not work well at all, the pipette. I actually just kind of get some out by just putting it into my hand and then straight onto my face. This is a really, really good coverage foundation. If you're the kind of person that doesn't want to spend too much on a foundation or you're only just getting into makeup, this is an amazing one. It actually beats, I would say, quite a lot of makeup brands for foundation. It is definitely one of Primark's more expensive ones because I know that they do do foundations for like £2, but this is definitely a really good one. It gives a great coverage, makes your skin look fairly flawless and lasts really, really well and it doesn't make my skin any sort of oilier in the day or anything like that. So I actually really like this. The only fault is the pipette lid does not work very well. Next up, I have another foundation, but I do not actually use this as foundation. I use this as concealer. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Coverage Concealer. Sorry, Coverage Foundation. And I got mine in the shade F2. So it's actually a bigger bottled version of their concealer. I did really, really like their concealer. I haven't um, re-bought it. I do not use it as a concealer, but I actually use the foundation as a concealer. It's a really big bottle, so it's obviously just the same as a normal foundation bottle, but I did find that it was quite annoying to apply this as a foundation because it's on a um, doe foot applicator. So actually applying this as foundation, you'd have to keep dibbing in and dibbing in and dibbing in. When actually, when I use it as concealer, it's actually perfect. I literally take a little bit underneath my eye, down my nose, on my chin, on my forehead, and one little dab of this works really, really well. I I'm very impressed with it. It doesn't give as much coverage as your usual everyday concealer, but that's not really needed for me. I don't need heavy, heavy coverage. The foundation that I use is quite good coverage anyway, so I don't need amazing coverage from my concealer. But yeah, it blends in really well. Perfect shade for the concealer that I would like. It's quite brightening. And yeah, maybe I'll do a video testing this as if it's a foundation, but to be honest with you, I like the fact that I'm using this as a concealer. The first powder is this one from the collection. So this is the Bronze Glow Matte Bronzer. Now, I don't really know why it's saying Bronze Glow and then it says the word matte because surely a glow and something that's matte are the opposite things. I don't know, but this is matte. I can confirm that it's not glowy, it is matte. Um, it looks like this. So it's quite a warm toned bronzer, as you can see. I really did need 
a new bronzer. I just needed something kind of just to make me look a bit more, I don't know, my old bronzer was not the most pigmented. I'd had it for about three or four years and I just thought, Georgie, you're due an upgrade. The collection is very, very cheap. This was about three pounds and I'm really happy. The pigmentation is really good, very good. And it gives a nice kind of glowy finish. All I have on my cheeks is bronzer and blusher. I don't use contour or anything like that anymore. And I'm very happy with the finish that it gives. And then something else that I did actually purchase in this month because I purchased that as well um, that I'm also loving is this Rimmel Maxi blush. This is a powder blush and it's actually quite peachy. It's in the shade number four Sweet Cheeks. It's a very very peachy blush and that's the kind of vibe that I'm going for. It's this middle finger by the way. I really 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 love peachy blushes. I would say that they're the best kind of blushes in my opinion. They look the most natural, they blend in with bronzer the best and they just blend in your skin the best. This is what I have on my cheeks right now. This is the only blusher that I'm going to be using for a very long time. It's very very pigmented so you don't need to put too much on your brush and it applies very nicely. Again like I said it's from Rimmel and it's only three pounds. I personally don't think pink really pink blushes or really red blushes have a place in society in my opinion because these just look so much better if you want to do your makeup and want to make it look natural nice blended bronzy then this is the perfect blusher to go for is something peachy i personally think that if you overdo the blusher or you make your blusher too pink or too red it's noticeable and it can look weird for me this does not make you blush look noticeable it makes it look like I don't know you've just got good makeup on so I would highly recommend going for either this one or a more kind of peachy toned blusher just consider that next time you're going to get a blusher because it does make you look younger if you're a slightly older person I do have to say I then have this which is actually an eyeshadow it is the revolution flawless foils rose gold kind of foiled eyeshadow so this is what it looks like. I still kept it in the packaging. It has a glue inside it and it also has the actual foiled pigment itself. So I'll get this out to show you. I, Jesus Christ. It's, I packaged it up just to show you and now I can't get anything out. So yeah, this is what it looks like. My friend Steph did actually get me this one and like I said it's in the shade rose gold but when you feel it it's almost like putting your hand in putty. It's crazy, I absolutely love it. Um, so you're actually supposed to take a little bit of this on your finger. So you're supposed to take some of this glue here, pop it on your eyelids and then put this foiled eyeshadow on the top and it honestly is so pigmented, it looks so shimmery and I really quite like this so I use that for special occasions because I don't want to use it up, I do really quite like that and I might go to Revolution and look and see if they've got it in any other shades but yeah this is definitely a very wearable shade and I've been using that a lot. Talking of eyeshadows, I am going to discuss this palette here, this was in my what I got for Christmas video my or was it birthday was it good? oh no this was in my what i got for my birthday video so this was the palette that i got for my birthday i got it from my boyfriend tom this is um the morphe palette i can't remember which morphe palette does it say on it it says the morphe artistry palette 39a so if you want to go and buy this one it's the 39a palette and this is what the shades look like. So they're very wearable with also a hint of colour. I have used this pretty goddamn much every single day since I got this. I am obsessed with it. You've got your blue tones down here. You've got your warm tones up here. Neutral browns, greens. You can really go any different avenue. And then down the middle, you've got your kind of more neutral tones. The pigmentation of these shadows is amazing. The you know blendability is also amazing i wouldn't say they're on par with the naked palettes because the blendability of the naked eyeshadows are very very good but these are still excellent and i couldn't be happier with them really really couldn't this is my first morphe palette and i do think i'm going to be buying some more in the future because i'm very impressed with these eyeshadows and then just a few more products don't worry i'm not going to be ranting on for too much longer but you know i have been obsessed with quite a few things this month the next thing is this lip crayon from primark so this is a lip liner and lip crayon duo now i do have to say that this is actually a little bit broken i did get this for my birthday as well 
or I think Christmas or something, I'm not sure. But the lip liner is this side, like that, and it ha it does actually come out. Like, I'm not going to pull it out, but it does fall out sometimes, so you do have to be very careful. And then I line my lips with that side, and then this is the lip crayon side, and the colours just match perfectly. I absolutely love this. It's like a, just a kind of normal sort of nudie shade. It's just kind of the perfect everyday nude, and it looks really, really nice, and I have been wearing this sort of every day for uni. It is matte, so it gives more of a matte finish, but obviously you can put a gloss over the top if you'd like it to be more glossy. But yeah, really like this. I think I'm going to go back to Primark and see what other shades that they do this in, because I do really like the kind of combo of it being a lip liner and a lip crayon, and you don't have to sharpen the lip liner, which I do quite like. And the next thing is this eyebrow... eyebrow? The next thing is this mascara. And this is the one from Primark. It's the False Lash Effect Extreme Length Definition and Volume Mascara. You might notice that I've got a lot of Primark things in this favourites video and I do have a lot of Primark makeup. It's because it's good. I buy things that I know is good. So I first bought this and I'm so happy that I did because it's so good. This is what the applicator looks like. It's kind of like a very thick brushy applicator it gives a lot of volume to my lashes which is the main reason why i like it and it also gives instant length today on my eyelashes i am wearing this and i literally just shoved it on very very quickly i didn't want too much product on my eyelashes i just wanted to do it very quickly but it still gave great length and great volume and i could not be more impressed with this so i will rebuy this because it was literally two pounds if you're looking for a very decent i would say volumizing mascara this is a good one and then finally, I am just going to very quickly move my foot because it is numb. Finally, we have our final product, which is probably one of the best things in this favourites video. So we are really saving the best till last. But this is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow False Peel Off. No, Easy Peel Off Tattoo Brow. Easy Peel Off Tint. Sorry, I can't read. Um, and I got mine in the shade... I'm not sure if there is a shade, but I, th I think there is a shade name, but I just can't see it. But this is the one that I got, and it almost looks black when you kind of get it out, and it kind of is black. But basically, you use this to paint your eyebrows, and you leave it on. You literally paint the shape of the eyebrow that you want, as if it's a dye. And you do the shape completely all around the eyebrow, exactly how you would want it. And then about 20 to 30 minutes later, you peel it off your eyebrows. And then what is left is a nicely dyed fresh eyebrow. I don't do my eyebrows anymore. I just dye them using this. The last time I dyed my eyebrows using this was about four or five days ago. So I don't really have them dyed at the minute because this tends to last sort of three days. I do, you know, they are still a little bit dyed even now, but not how they usually look when I've dyed them using this. I just don't want to go back to doing my eyebrows ever again because it's so much quicker when I do my makeup and they're already done. I just used this the night before and yeah, I know that Revolution has one of these so I do want to try them from Revolution and see because it's a lot cheaper. Just see how it works but yeah, very impressed with this. Worked so well and changed my eyebrow game. So that is everything for my January favourites. I just wanted to keep it being makeup i didn't want to talk about anything else because it would be so ridiculously long if i did so next month it will probably be less about makeup and more about kind of skincare um programs i'm watching that kind of thing just more tailored to you know that sort of stuff rather than makeup but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you did like it and remember to subscribe for more content on my channel thank you for watching and i will see you very soon goodbye